name of our tax exempt corporation that keeps us going here is Roads to Life Tanzania. Roadwork was responsible for the growth and development of Nkololo. And I would say without that original assistance, the 8,000 plus people town that we have here in Kololo would not be, it would be a small village and it would not be the same place. And it wouldn't have the needs that it has now. Help for body and soul. If you need help for your soul, you turn right. If you need help for your body, you turn left. And usually we need help for both. So we can turn right to get help from for our soul first and then uh, turn left and go to the hospital. Most few cases which we receive here is malaria cases. And we know malaria cases mostly is complicating to severe anemia. And we have acute diarrhea diseases, air respiratory infections. Uh, we have malnutrition, especially uh, marasmic patients and kwasha core patients. We have uh, foot beds, and today we have 46 uh, patients. Asa kujua ibaba na mwana na mwana mtangatifu Yeti kani kari na mwashiku chose na miaka wose na yesa I started medical work in Old Maso in 1983. This is 2013. That's 30 years of medical experience that I have had along with many other people that I'm working with. And here in Nkololo we have 19 years of medical experience. We have come from a small dispensary that we had in town for two years. We operated there while we built a real big dispensary, the biggest one I've seen in the diocese anywhere, where it has a lot of different rooms, it has, even has three rooms for examination. We have other conditions which we do fail to save here, like uh, intestinal obstructions, uh, to the pregnant women with uh, obstructed labors. So for those patients, we have many of them, but we do refer them to the district hospital. Lives are saved by not going long distances. We have an ambulance, we take people to the hospital, and they don't always get there. It's too late by the time you can go a long distance over bad roads or no roads and pick someone up. By the time you can get back to first aid at our health center and then get them to a hospital and get care at the hospital, they die so often. So there's much that can be done right here. We started off with a very small laboratory, one room for taking samples, another room for microscopic work and in between was a little storeroom. And we extended it 79 feet, built a big, beautiful laboratory with tiles and white paint and big windows and everything you need for a lab. We can do anything that can be done in the regional hospital. And not only that, we are now registered as a health center that can give blood transfusions. 453, is that? Yes. Okay. And there's no other health center in the diocese or in the whole region that can give blood transfusions. And that's what has transformed our health center from a, just an ordinary health center into a great health center. And we are registered at the blood bank in Mwanza, the big uh, metropolis of Mwanza, at Bugan, near Bugando Hospital, a referral hospital, a big, big hospital. And we are registered there that we can take blood and uh, that we have classified but has not been tested. We can take blood there and they give us blood back that we need. 
as I have mentioned earlier, that we have uh, 40 uh, beds and 46 patients. So if we have many patients, uh, we don't have wards to, uh, to list them because the wards are few. Uh, and sometimes we, we use to, to list them in two, one baby in two. So mostly we, we, we are asking for more words. We are in the process of building that operating theater. We t started in 2012, designed a big building that holds two major theaters, one minor theater, and eight other rooms that are needed for storing and for receiving people and for dressing and things like that. We have all kinds of workers. <laughs> We've had 40, 50 workers at one time when, when we're busy. Right now we have 35 to 40 people working many days along with a staff of 28 people in the hospital. So it's a busy place, and they won't do all the building if we get funding. When we get funding, it's not if, we will get funding because this is God's work. We will have a crew of workers that have been working with me for endless years, and they will help me oversee a contractor if we come to that point. We've never had to use a contractor in my life. We've had our own workers but some of the projects we have ahead of us, wards, emergency rooms, mortuary, x-ray and ultrasound rooms, isolation wards, children's wards, women's wards, cooking places and all that. It's just uh, so much to be done and we can do it. We have the capability of doing it. We need more equipment, we need more workers, but they will be available. We need not only your prayers, we need uh, all the help that you can help, uh, that you can find for us so that we can save lives. Again, remember our motto, help for body and soul. We'll take care of the soul part, help us take care of the bodies. God bless you all.